In this week's video, I'll show you how I turned one personal computer into six workstations, and I really could have done eight. Okay, just to clarify, I don't actually have six independent workstations that I can have six different people all working at once, but I have a fairly economical way that I can work on my videos in different locations inside Studio 2, all using the same PC. If you do all of your editing from a laptop, then you can just move your laptop to wherever you want to work. But I needed a little bit more of a powerful computer um, for 4K editing and large VFX renderings. I can't afford to put a different computer in every room in Studio 2, so I got an HDMI distribution amplifier. This device takes one HDMI signal and splits it into more. I've seen ones that split into four and eight most commonly, but there are several different types out there and some do 4K. Mine is a one input with eight outputs and can only handle 1920 by 1080. So with this, you can take the HDMI cable that would normally be running from your computer to your monitor and run it instead from your computer to the distribution amplifier and then out to eight monitors. In the simplest words, it's a splitter. All of the outputs are active at once, so you don't have to choose which output is working because they're all on at the same time. I probably would have never even thought to do this, but a friend of mine gave me the splitter and I started thinking, what can I do with this? What can I do with this? I was still building Studio 2 when I got this, so I ran a lot of HDMI cables inside the walls to anywhere I thought I might want an editing station. So this is my computer. It's really a gaming computer, which makes it pretty fast for video editing. This keyboard and this mouse are wired directly into this computer, but this monitor is not. The HDMI cable that runs out of this computer that would normally run up to this monitor, instead it runs into the other room into the distribution amplifier, or splitter as I keep calling it. Here, come with me, I'll show you. This HDMI cable is the one that comes from the computer and into the only input on this device right here in the middle. Then this cable runs back to the monitor above the computer and every other cable goes to a different monitor somewhere inside Studio 2. One of my favorite places to edit is the desk at the front of the stage. Let me show you how that's set up. I really like this station because it has a sit to stand desk. This wireless keyboard and this wireless mouse hook into the computer you saw up there through the USB ports. And then I can fully use that computer from right here. And then upstairs in my office, I have another wireless keyboard and another wireless mouse also hooked into the same computer through more USB ports. I only have two wireless keyboards and mice, so if I want to work somewhere else in the studio, like at the pub table on the deck, I just grab the keyboard and mouse and I go there. And then I'm ready to work right here. And then downstairs, I can do the same thing. I can grab the wireless mouse and keyboard and go to the stage TV. And I could work here if I wanted. Or I could go into the costume room where I have another TV. And now I could work in here. And I can still use the theater projector as a seventh workstation if I want to have the giant display. And the splitter still has one unused out in case I come up with another place for a workstation. Each wireless keyboard and mouse comes with its own USB receiver. This has to be plugged into the computer. I have four of these wireless devices, and I didn't have four free USB ports on my computer, so I bought a USB hub. This divides one USB port into four. You have to be careful because if you try to send too much data through one of these hubs all into one USB port, it's gonna go very slow. But since I only use one keyboard or mouse at a time, it works fine for me because I'm really only using one of these receivers at a time. I bought a USB extension cable so that I could move this hub up kind of centrally located here in the studio, just to try to keep the distance that the signal has to travel as short as possible. Let me show you something else I like to do with this setup. You remember this wire that comes from the computer into the input? If I unplug it, I can plug in this one. This one runs down to the soundstage area and I like to connect it to the camera that we're filming with. This means that every TV in the studio will now have a live feed of what the camera is seeing on the stage. 
Now the costume room can act as a green room for the actors. They can be in here getting ready and still see what's happening on the stage. That way they'll know when they're needed. So that's how I use my HDMI distribution amplifier. This is not a flawless system. Sometimes, very rarely, my computer seems to have trouble recognizing what monitor it's connected to, but I just unplug the splitter a time or two and it usually solves it. A lot of this will depend on what PC and monitors you use. Sometimes it takes a little patience to get it all tuned up to where everything's working just perfectly, but I got the setup working great for Studio 2. I'll put links below for what I use, but I'm not going to put a link for a personal computer. The most important thing is just to make sure that it has an HDMI out, and I think all the newer ones do right now. I will list the exact distribution amplifier that I use, but remember, it's not able to carry a 4K signal. They make some that do, but mine doesn't. I also found a splitter on walmart.com that splits into four 1920 by 1080 signals, and it's only like 15 bucks at the time of this video. I don't know anything about how well it works, but the reviews seem okay, so it might be worth checking out, especially if you only need four outputs. So that's about it for how I turned one computer into multiple workstations. I hope you found something useful in this video, and if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. And if you'd like to get notified when we release new videos, just click the bell below after subscribing. And thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.